The overall goal of this procedure is to mimic ischemic stroke in mice. First, the common carotid artery is temporarily ligated, whereas the external carotid artery is permanently ligated as distally as possible. Another temporary suture, slightly tight, is placed on the ECA above the bifurcation. The second step is to clamp the internal carotid artery using reverse action tweezers to avoid bleeding. Then cut the ECA between the permanent and temporary ligatures. Next, the silicon-coated monofilament is introduced into the ECA. Then, the ECA is inverted to introduce the monofilament into the ICA until it occludes the base of the middle cerebral artery. One hour later, the blood flow is restored by removal of the monofilament to mimic the restoration of blood flow after lysis of a thromboembolic clot in humans. Ultimately, the neurological deficit, which reflects the success of TMCAO and the severity of the infarct, can be evaluated just after reperfusion and at different times post-reperfusion. Cyan image software from NIH is used to calculate the infarct volume on representative brain slices stained by Cressel violet. One of the main advantages of the transient middle cerebral artery occlusion using the intraluminal filament technique is that it mimics ischemic stroke in patients with the restoration of blood flow. And the development of this procedure in mice offers the possibility of using a valuable uh, genetics tool to identify the role of a target protein in stroke. Transient middle cerebral artery occlusion is performed on 2-3 month old male C57 black 6 mice weighing between 22 and 28 grams. This protocol was approved by...